What's the future of OLED technology? Today, we're here with LG Display at CES 2023, and we're taking a look at third-gen meta technology for the brightest picture we've ever seen from an OLED TV, as well as all sorts of new sizes, including a 17-inch foldable that doesn't have a crease, down to 0.4 inches for VR headsets. Let's go take a look. Look ma, no crease. That's the main highlight for LG Display's 17-inch foldable OLED. This panel offers 400 nits of brightness and supports finger and pen input. But the coolest thing about this panel is that LG Display says that the crease is not noticeable. Upon close inspection, it was actually quite difficult to make out the seam with the panel fully open, which is pretty impressive. The bad news is that LG Display's 8-inch, 360-degree foldable OLED was not far along enough for us to play with it, but we got a sense of how this versatile panel might work through a quick demo. The gist is that this 8-inch panel can fold both ways, giving users more flexibility in terms of how they use a mobile device. The module structure is durable enough to withstand being folded more than 200,000 times, and LG Display claims that the folding mechanism minimizes wrinkles along the folding areas. File this one under weird but intriguing. The OLED Glow is a 27-inch OLED concept that's both height and angle adjustable, and it features touch technology. Let's not forget about OLED TVs. LG unveiled its third-generation OLED TV panel, which promises up to 60% more brightness than the previous EX panels and 30% wider viewing angles. LG Display's new meta technology leverages an array of micro lenses that maximizes light emission from the OLED panel and a meta booster brightness enhancing algorithm. The result is a rated 2100 nit brightness, which would be the highest in the industry. I saw plenty of other cool stuff, including a 45-inch OLED gaming monitor with an 800R curve. This tech is already making its way into products from LG Electronics, Asus, and Corsair. I also got up close with an ultra-small 0.42-inch OLED that will be coming to VR and mixed reality headsets, and saw a very weird OLED concept with speakers that move behind and in front of a 42-inch TV. Overall, it's an exciting glimpse into the displays of tomorrow. I'm especially looking forward to seeing whether smartphone makers adopt that 360-degree OLED.